My dear Rishi, pray tell me, why are you laughing so loudly? Well, I thought I was coming into an assembly of saints and sages, but I see I have stumbled into a convention of shoemakers. Shoemakers! 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 shoemakers. Your sole interest is simply looking at people's skin, seeing if someone is beautiful or ugly, young or old, healthy or disabled. That is your sole interest, not seeing the soul within as saintly persons would. Maharaj, we are truly sorry. Please forgive us. Yes, it is truly an illusion to place so much importance on the temporary external body while we forget about the eternal soul within us. Hmm. And please continue to enlighten us with your saintly yes. instructions. Yes, yes. yes. I will. Hmm. Dear Rishi. You are fit to sit on the throne. No, no. <laughs> Not I. No need, no need. No, no. I insist. Yeah. Very well, Thanks. then. Very well. Thank you. 
Princess Amber. Do you mind if I call you by that name? Well, as I'm sure you've heard, the time when they fought a hundred soldiers, a hundred phalanxes of soldiers single-handedly and defeated them all. <laughs> well, as for my treasury, it's beyond bounds. You're not listening to a thing I have to say, then I'm saying. You're not listening, my lord. <laughs> You're not listening, I don't think. <laughs> oh, last. Huh? Princess Amber. Uh, please. You, you being so beautiful, and me being suitably matched for you, have come here today to ask for your hand in marriage. That's my lord. But, Princess Amber, you, you being so beautiful, would you tell me, where does your beauty come from? Well, Prince Popolo, to be honest with you, I do not desire to get married. I simply want to dedicate my life to serving the Supreme Personality of Godhead. <laughs> but the problem is, my, my parents my wish me to get married, so I must obey them. Look, please, Prince Popolo, Give me one week, give me seven days to consider your request. And when that seven days is up, I will also reveal to you the source of my beauty. The source? Yes, the source of wonderful. Wonderful. Oh. wonderful. Same times, same place, same wonderful person. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Princess Amber. Prince Popolo, it is I, your beloved Amber. You wicked hag, you lie. Where is she? <laughs> My lord, it, it's me. It is Princess Amber. No. Yes? No. Did you not inquire upon your last visit to see the source of my beauty? Yes. Well, within the last seven days, I took many purgatives to capture that beauty that you were so enamoured with. And, well, here it is. My secret, my liquid beauty. You, you mean that is? That, that? And, and, and that is? Yes. 
<laughs> Prince Popolosh. You see, not only are these bodies um, temporary and made up of many vile, horrible things, but they are also the cause of so much pain and suffering. At the end of this lifetime, we are forced to leave these bodies, these bodies behind. And nothing else except taking shelter of Sri Hari, Guru and Vaishnavas will help us understand this truth. So we should dedicate our lives to this. Oh, Lord, too much. Too much. Yes, <laughs> I can understand now. By your words, I can see what you are saying. I'm barely not. I understand. <laughs> so fortunate. It's a very, very rare soul that can understand these truths. I'm so happy. Now, there's one ancient history I would like to relate to you. Come. Oh. Oh. Kingdom. Certainly, I declare that my entire kingdom is yours. 
Very good. Very good. Now, according to ancient tradition, to confirm this arrangement, you must donate some coins. How much do you like? 10,000 gold coins. Treasurer, can you please bring 10,000 gold coins to Guru Maharaj? <laughs> liar, liar! How can you call your treasurer to give me gold coins when I own your entire kingdom? You must think of some other way to pay this debt. I, I borrowed 10,000 gold coins from someone in the kingdom. No, no, no. Because all the citizens belong to me. And I will not allow any of them to loan you the money. You must think of some other way. Yeah. I do. I'll send my son, my wife, and myself. And then pay your debt. However, I will not permit you to sell anything within my kingdom. You must sell yourself outside of my kingdom. I see you are looking perplexed because that kingdom that once was yours encompasses the entire world. However, Kasi, although it resides within my kingdom, is not part of this world because it is the abode of Lord Shiva. You may go there to sell yourself. But do not forget to pay me. Guards! Guards! Take him and his family. Now remember, do not forget your debt to me. My dear Kashi Wasis, attention please. I'm here to sell myself, my wife and my son. Is there anyone else to purchase us? Please come forward. I'll give please 50. come forward. I'll give 50. Anyone else please? I'll give 100. 150. 200. I'll give you 500 gold coins. Come with me and be a god at the crematorium. Come anyone else? Me. Anyone else? Anyone please? Anyone else? Come with me. So I know, you must know that I used to be a king, but I'm no longer a king. That means nothing to me. Come with me and be a guy at the crematorium. If no, you want to sell yourself... I'm still responsible for my wife and my son. And please, can you also purchase them? I don't want any woman, and I don't need a little squirt like that. No, I only want to move. Come with me and be a guard at the crematorium. I'll purchase them. Coins. Come with me. Oh. Come. I'll purchase them for 5,000 gold coins. I'll purchase your wife and son. Come. Come with Thank me. You, Come with me. Come. 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 Come.
Still here to kill someone there. I have nothing left. Except my veil. Rohitas for a shall be king. Rohitas for a shall be king. Rise quickly, my child. I took everything away from you, and now I am returning it to you. Your kingdom is your own again. However, with this new realization you have acquired, you are eligible to go to the forest and meditate on the Supreme Personality of Godhead. For you have understood that Harishchandra is not your real name. It is only the name of your physical body. We are part and parcel of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Therefore, chant his name and meditate upon him. Furthermore, Lord Ramachandra will appear in this dynasty. So leave this darkness and follow the light, my dear child. Certainly, Guru Maharaj. I have realized just now what you say. And by your unbounded mercy, I have achieved full freedom of my transcendent freedom. What would have taken many lives of endeavor to achieve this? I achieve that in few moments. Jai Shila Guru Dev. Jai Shila Guru Dev. Jai Shila Guru Dev. <coughs> he was twisted by eight parts of his body, but he was Brahmagyani. So when we went to the Rajya Sabha ki, Royal Assembly, Royal Assembly of Maharaj Janak, his all associates began to laugh. How ugly is he? <laughs> and also Bak Ashtabhakra Rishi began to laugh more loudly, louder than them. Then king asked, why you are laughing? Because you are ugly and you have dared to come in my council. How you came? He told that I am coming from Himalaya very far away. Huh? With so much difficulty I have reached here. I came that, I have heard that Maharaj Janak is Brahmagyani, Tattvavid, and his all kya, uske, associates. associates Associates, Courtiers. Uh, all are like Maharaj Jana. So I have come to take their darshan and to hear Brahma again. But now I see here all are Kobla. mochi. Kobla. 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 Shoemaker. Uh, Shoemaker. Then king asked, why Sumekar you are telling? I am telling that you are not seeing my soul, my tattva gyan. You are outwardly, you are seeing my this body. So you are all top to all. All you are Sumekars. Then Maharaj Janak at once fell flat on his feet and beg excuses. And then he heard 
and discussed with Maharaj Janak of Brahma Tattva. So, we should not neglect anyone who is ugly, but he is no all Tattva. We should not be shoemaker. We should try to give proper honor to Vaishnava. If any, that is, is if any Vaishnava is black, he is ugly, harsh wording, even we should try to honor him. And Maharaj Harishandra, you saw the drama play, for his keeping word that I am true, uh, true speaker. True speaker. I speak is true. <coughs> and in the dream, Vishwamitra took his kingdom. Kingdom. And in morning he came. Do you remember <coughs> that in dream you have given your whole kingdom? kingdom? Oh, you are same Vishwamitra. Yes, I remember. Then, you have given your kingdom, but where is Dakshina? Then he told his treasurer, uh, treasurer of bring 10,000 golden coin to me. Then he began to laugh, Vishwamitra, and to know, you have given kingdom. So treasure, treasure is also mine. Your whole Raj Palace and everything that you possess is mine. Then how can you give? Then he began to think, what should I do? Then he asked him, what should I do? Oh, then he decided that I will... Yeah, Sell, 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 sell me. I will sell myself. My son and my wife. Then he told that this is my kingdom. You cannot sell yourself in my kingdom. Oh, then what should I do? That, oh, you can go on Kashi, to Kashi. Kashi is on the Trishul of Shankar. He is not in my Tell kingdom. Me. Then he went and sold his, himself, his son, and wife. And in the last, oh, his Rohitasa son was dead by biting snake, bite, snake, snake bite. bite. And her wife took him and came to burial ground. ground. And then at once a flight, it was somewhat light, raining and, lightning. and flashing came from sky. Uh, sky. Then Harishand recognized his son. Oh, his son is dying. He sees my wife. But he told that, oh, now I am the servant of my master. So you must give some tax. Otherwise you cannot... Bond, bond this body. Uh, bond, uh, or you can give it to Ganges. <coughs> then she began to weep, I have nothing. And then he, she began to tear his heart cloth. <laughs> his tear cloth. His cloth, heart cloth. And at once Vishwamitra, Rishi, Dharma and so many demigods at once appeared there. And then the Vishwamitra then told, oh, dear, Rohitaswa, you get should up, get, up, get, up. get up, get up, get up, at once, get up, and then Vishwamitra told, in your dynasty, Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra will come, and you are thinking that I am speaking true, my name is Harishandra. My son is Rohitaswa. My wife is Sadhya. But it are all are 
wrong. This is not truth. If Rohitashri is dead, you should call him, can he come? So this body is not me. You should understand. And there is soul and super soul in this body. You try, try to know that relation. And you should do bhajan of Krishna, Supreme Lord. For this, I have done so. So you should realize what you thought that I am speaking truth, it is quite wrong. Anyone in this world regarding body, they cannot speak truth. You should always also realize this fact that you are not body. This is the bag of urine, latrine and blood and everything. So there is some mystery in this thing. This was the mercy of Vishwamitra that he told all these things to Maharaj Harishchandra. Then Harishchandra left his house, gave his kingdom to Rohitas and he went to do bhajan. Hare Krishna. Thank you. And prince, prince and princess, liquid beauty. Ki ami fuzala. Now we should begin. Now seven. If you will take our time like this, then how can we keep, speak Bhagavatam? Bhagavat is more important than drama plays also. Quickly, in brief, you should do. Otherwise, you will hamper. I will take my, what, Harikatha and divine wealth to other places, Fiji and other places, Australia I will go. So, from tomorrow you should do brief all these things and try to hear Srimad Bhagavatam. <laughs>